the work that I did as a Merck Fellow was to try to figure out what is the minimum amount of habitat that it's required to protect biodiversity. Our research showed that the minimum amount of habitat required is 30%. What this means is that although we lose some threatened species, biodiversity as a whole is not dramatically altered until 30% of forest cover. However, below this threshold, we get a huge difference to the type of species and the habitat becomes unrecognisable. The work that I did had three main impacts on policy here in Brazil. At the federal level, the work helped provide a guideline to what are the best areas that we should be focusing on reforestation. But also at the state level, and the work that I did helped give the, the, the government a better guideline on how to direct funding for farmers that are going to do reforestation in their own land. The final impact that my work has had was to show that with only 6.5% of what Brazil currently spends on agricultural subsidies, we could provide economic benefits to farmers. In places like this, for instance, the farmers don't have much income anyway from their land already because it is very poor. So one way to get around this issue is to provide them with a payment for ecosystem services, PS, to either protect forests that they already have or to restore area in their land. As a scientist, you never know whether the work you've done is going to actually be taken out by policymakers. I think the major difference was to provide a very simple message that we need 30% of forest cover and that was unambiguous enough for them to take it. Without NERC support, none of my research would have been possible. And what's really exciting is that this is just the beginning and there's a the potential for this to influence forest recovery worldwide.